All right, so question number four, Ted. Um, this woman is asking, she doesn't have a lot of time. She works full time, she has two kids, and she makes dinner every night for everybody. And she has to make extra food for her because she doesn't eat the same. So she's got a full plate and she doesn't have a lot of time. So she's wondering, is this for me? Can I grow my Instagram if I don't have enough time? Okay, let me ask her this. Does she sit on the toilet? Because <laughs> if she sits on the toilet at least three times a day, she's got enough. <laughs> <laughs> And I can almost guarantee that she's sitting on the toilet with her phone in her hands, okay? And like typically, when, typically when people sit on the toilet, the phone in their hands, they're not working. But they could be. They could be. <laughs> so listen, I suggest making three posts a day to grow your Instagram in addition to a few other tactics. But three posts a day is the minimum we recommend, right? Mm -hmm. So most people go to the toilet three times a day. Typically only takes us how long to make a post, maybe two or three minutes. Mm -hmm. Right. Whenever I sit in that toilet, I'm either sitting down to make a post or I'm, I'm not sitting down with my phone at all. I make that rule. So I'm either making a post or I'm not sitting down on the toilet with my phone. I'll just sit and think. Okay. So if you can sit in the toilet three times a day, you got enough time. Now, um, to be more serious, and I'm serious by that, by the way, but to be more serious, to be more practical, not having a lot of time is actually a good thing. And here's why. If you don't have, let's say, for example, you have a school project, it's due in six months. Okay. It's a test. It's due in six months. When do you think you're going to start studying for that test? Realistically. <laughs> before. <laughs> okay. Now, how come the day before the test, you are all of a sudden super focused hmm. and you soak in the information and you just get it done? Why is that? Well, we like to procrastinate. <laughs> Yeah, but, but, but why, why are you so effective the night before? Because it's you're you're time crunched. You don't have enough time. Well, you have just enough time. Just enough time. Just well, enough time. The amount of times I the, throughout, I consider myself very productive, and yet when it's like two hours before I'm doing like a live webinar or something, I have to update my slides. Like when it's two hours before, I'm just like laser focused. Okay. When it's half hour before the webinar, I realize I got to change like 16 slides. I'm like hyper focused. I'm just like, right? I know. That's like before a talk. Like, I'm like, it's like I just I, pop some pill and I'm like on <laughs> something. Like I, I'm, I'm on something. Why is that? What, what, how am I tapping into some part of my brain that I couldn't tap into before? It's because I'm time crunched. Right? Being time crunched is a really good thing. Get too laser focused. So for anyone out there saying I don't have a lot of time, that's a really good thing. It means you're not going to piss away time and waste it, right? Mm -hmm. And so there's always going to be things coming up in life. In fact, you may say I don't have a lot of time on a regular basis or just right now is not a good time. But guess what? If you say that now is not a good time, you're affirming to the universe that now is not a good time. Yeah. And so that becomes a habit. Whatever you do once becomes a habit. So guess what happens a minute from now? Now is not a good time. A minute from now, now is not a good time. How about now? Not a good time. How about now? Not a good time. If you say now's not a good time, I guarantee you've said it once before as well. And it's like when we say now's not a good time, we're saying that what I want, I'm willing to just put it off and potentially never have it. Mm -hmm. It's just, it, to me, it's crazy. It's like, and so when you sacrifice, or if, if you don't sacrifice some of the stuff in your life right now, if you don't sacrifice Netflix or if you don't sacrifice date night with the husband or something, if you don't sacrifice something, the thing that you really want, your goal, that becomes a sacrifice and you never end up having it. That is so deep, so true. And another quote that I remember reading a long time ago was, if it wasn't for deadlines, nothing would ever get done. That's it. That's right? It. So we yeah. need that time crunch. We, we value our time, but yeah. in the same breath, we don't because we, we spend doing things that we could be doing other things that are more productive. Mm -hmm. And life isn't all about being productive, right? It's about yeah. having time with the family and spending time with the husband, spending time with the boyfriend and going for walks and, and just hanging out and chilling and watching a Netflix episode every now and then. Sure. But if you say you want something, then I can guarantee you, you can have it. You just have to figure out people who already have it and watch what they're doing and take their advice and then just be creative in where you spend your time. And it could mean waking up an extra half hour early and going to bed an extra half hour late. That's an extra hour in the day, right? Mm -hmm. 
and you can get a lot done in an hour as you said if you're laser focused oh yeah an hour a day is plenty for our instagram growth work we recommend 20 minutes a day to grow your followers by 500 followers in a week and that's just the audience growth alone in 20 minutes give yourself another 20 minutes to work on your product give yourself another 20 minutes to help customers out and do customer support that's an hour a day very well spent and uh the amount of damage you can get done in an hour deadly it's great and then here's the thing too if you can overcome that time crunch thing just know that a lot of people out there who aren't willing to overcome the time crunch thing and they're like oh i don't have time they're never gonna get started there's no freaking competition man you'll do great you just have to get over that internal talk about not enough time and realize that if i set a timer which you and i recommend doing right we set a yep. timer on our phones for like 20 25 minutes and we hit go and we get as much work done as we can okay that's that's tip number one for being practical set a timer on your phone for 20 25 minutes do the work see what you get done in that in that time slot the other tip though is install an app on your phone if you have an android it's this app is called your hour and your hour it 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 tracks how many times you unlock your phone, but more importantly, it tracks how much time you're spending on different apps throughout the day, okay? So you may not be aware of it right now, but you're, you could be potentially spending two or three hours on Instagram right now. And that's two or three hours that you could be spending on a lot of other things as well, right? So um, I recommend installing that app. If you have iPhone, I think iPhone automatically tracks your app time. Yeah, um, they have in the, in the settings, I think they have yeah. uh, your activity. And then if you're on a lap, if you use a laptop a lot, you don't know if how much time you're spending or how much time you're wasting on the laptop, I recommend installing this today. You, know, you want to install the Chrome browser on your laptop, Google Chrome browser. If you don't have it, go to google.com, type in download Chrome. You can download the Chrome browser. And then in Chrome, type in um, web time tracker and install the web time tracker plugin. That web time tracker will track how much time you're spending on different uh, websites. And you'll be surprised how quickly time sp adds up. Like next thing you know, you've been on Facebook for 45 minutes today. How is that possible? <laughs> so that's just one great app to track and be objective about how much time you're spending on different sites. Exactly. And one more quick one. Uh, I, I like a, a program on, it's a piece of software that you can get. It's called self-control. So if there are websites like Facebook or gaming sites or whatever that you find that you go to a lot that you are spent spending a lot more time on, you can set self-control to lock you out of those websites for X amount of time. So if you need to focus, you could put Facebook and YouTube and you know, solitaire or whatever that you don't want access to and it'll lock you out for an hour or two hours or however long you say. And is this on um, the laptop or? Yeah, it's something you can download from the internet. Cool, and, and the Safari Chrome, what browser would that be? It, well, it's just a, a piece of software that runs. So oh. it'll track on any software, like if you bring up Safari, or if you bring yeah. up Chrome, it wow. won't let you go to those websites. Cool, very cool. It'll be a lot of time, yeah. Awesome, sweet, thanks, Lizzo.